Welcome to the Dankest Dungeon. Today we're going to be playing Oathbreaker. As you've probably heard if you're watching this video, Oathbreaker is now an official Wizards of the Coast format for Magic. So this has built up a bit of hype on the internet and we're going to join in on that hype. This game is going to be spicy as opposed to the extra spicy that we usually play at. So for this we went ahead and limited our budgets, all cards are going to be under $20 each, but then we gave ourselves a little leeway by being able to take two cards that are above $20 each. We are hella excited to try this format out, so let's get right into it. Hey, my name's Jason, and today I'm going to be playing Tefiri Time Raveler with the signature spell of Fabricate. Basically what my deck's trying to do is get Tefiri out, make it so people can only cast at sorcery speed, and then I'm going to search up Knowledge Pool with my Fabricate and lock everyone out of the game. And my two money cards for this game are going to be Esper Sentinel and Ristic Study. Very original, I know. I'm doing a wonderful job this morning. Hello, I'm Eddie, and today we're playing Garouk Wildspeaker with the signature spell, Triumph of the Hordes. Our goal, swing wide, maybe kill some people with infect. My money cards in my deck are going to be Vornclex and Growing Rights of Itlamog. My name is Brent, and I'm here playing Nicol Bolas for Oathbreaker. My signature spell is Experimental Augury. It's a little different than what everybody else is playing, which is going to be Elder Spell for Nicol Bolas. I wanted to be a little different and try something new. Let's see how it works out for me. And my two money spells are Cyclonic Rift and Fierce Guardianship. Hey, it's Matt. I'm playing Ren and Six. Uh, my signature spell, well, I was thinking about doing Devastating Dreams, but I'm the only one who would enjoy that, so I, uh, I'm going for Gamble instead. Expensive cards are Ren and Six itself, and Besaju who endures. All right, let's roll off. I got a six. I got a nine. 10. 11. Thank you, Matt. I was worried there for a second. I'll keep this. Sure. Why not? I've seen worse. Y'all yeah, right. Y'all ready? I'm Absolutely. ready. Draw. Uh, all right. I have a Fabled Passage. Oh, and I'll gorgeous. pass the turn. I Whoa. just saw that the other day. I was like, oh, that's gorgeous. I didn't even know it existed. <laughs> yeah, that whole secret layer is real good. I'm going to draw for turn. I will play an island. That's not an island. I will play a plains. Esper Sentinel. Pass. Man, it would be real unfortunate. It's more than nature's claim that turn one. Land where else? <laughs> I was hoping. I will draw. I will play a tapped watery grave. Pass the turn. At the end of your turn, I will turn Fable Passage into a forest. Snow forest, why not? I will go to my turn. Tap, draw. I have a basic mountain. Two mana to cast Ren and six. Uh, would you like to pay one for that? I would love to. I cannot, though. Okay, cool. I'll draw a card. Sweet. I also have a good card because Ren and six minus one deals one damage to any target. How about Esper uh, Sentinel? That's pretty good, huh? <laughs> All right. And then I'll pass the turn. All right, I'm gonna play an island. I wish I would've read Ren and Six before I did that. <laughs> Draineth Magistrate. Ooh. Pass. We'll play this Forge of Heroes and uh, pass the turn. I will untap, I will drop. Rift, Lighting Pool, wait for turn. Talisman of Indulgence, and I will pass the turn. How indulgent of you. Yep. I will untap. And then I will draw land for turn, Cinder Glade. Comes in on tap because I control two or more basic lands. Azusa, lost but seeking. You may play two additional lands on each of your turns. I may? I may. Oh. I am going to plus red and six, returning target land card from my river to my hand. Look, it's Fable Passage. Land two for turn is Fable Passage. Land three for turn is Stomping Ground. Untapped, paying two life and I'm going to tap the Stomping Ground to cast Exploration. So I may play another additional land each turn, uh, but I don't have one, so I'll pass the turn. That's scary. I'm gonna untap, draw. Let's go ahead and play a Plains Return, and we will drop an Archon of Emeria. Gross. Is this just your Drana deck? Uh, <laughs> no, it's Tefiri. Yeah, um, <laughs> clearly. Uh, we will hit Brant for one, because I can. I'll pass. Uh, at your end step, we'll go ahead and roll the tutor. Ooh, Scooty. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw, pay three, Scoot Swarm, and play my land for turn, making a 1-1 one, one green insect creature. Okay. <laughs> and uh, that will be my turn. I will untap, draw. I guess I will play this Luxury Suite tapped. 
Somebody is a rude stacks player. Yep. Get him, chat. Get him, YouTube. Sick him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you have against basics. At the end of your turn, I'm going to trade Fable Passage for a basic land. Uh, let's say another forest. It enters tapped, but then I control four more lands, so it untaps. And then I'm going to cast Crop Rotation, sacrificing my mountain. Sacrifice a land, search your library for a land, put on the battlefield, then shuffle. I'm interested to see what you're going to get. Same. I know it can't be Gaia's Cradle, so I'm happy about that. It is not Gaia's Cradle. I'm going to grab a tapped Thespian Stage. Was Dark Tap somewhere? <laughs> Okay. I posted the link uh, yeah, like a I week ago. I, I browsed it. You took a quick glance. I looked at the lands less. Uh, go to my turn. Tap and draw. I need to minus Ren and six, targeting Archon of Ameria to deal out one damage. It has a damage counter. I'm going to cast Delayed Blast Fireball, which deals two damage to each opponent and each creature they control. Negate. My bugs live. For now. Guess I'll hit red for one. Yeah. Pass the turn. Untapping, drawing a card, go to combat. We'll swing two at Renin Six. Yep. I'm gonna leave Dranith back. I will play a Plains for turn. I will play an Azorius Signet, and I'll pay three for Tefiri. Comes in with four loyalty counters. He makes it so each opponent can cast spells only at uh, sorcery. sorcery speed. And I'm gonna go ahead and plus one M until my next turn I may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. And it will pass. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Play my land for turn. Uh, we're gonna get another insect, two of them. This is real rough without my commander. Elemental bond, just cause got nothing else to do. Go ahead and pass. I will untap, draw. My land for turn will be a uh, Merc Water Pathway. Even though it's not as advantageous to me, I'm gonna do it anyways. We're gonna Elder Spell to Fury. Destroy target Planeswalker. He's gone. And then I get to put counters on. Okay. And then I will pass the turn. If you appreciate the content that we're creating and you'd like to support us here at the dungeon, the number one way to do so is to sign up to become a member over on our Patreon page. Some of the patron benefits include access to our full deck lists, voting privileges for polls held over on our Patreon, and shoutouts at the end of every video to let everyone know how awesome you are. If money's tight and becoming a patron isn't the best option for you right now, we totally get it. Simply liking our videos, or subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and commenting down below all help as well, and are totally free. Thank you all for watching, and enjoy the game. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to cast Green Sun Zenith, Exus 4. Switch my library for green creature card, mana value 4. Put on the battlefield and shuffle. I'm going to find the Oracle of Moldiah. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. So now I can play one, two, three, four additional lands. Play with the top of your library revealed. You may play the top card of your library if it's a land. It's a land! I'm going to play Tranquil Thicket Tat. Okay, untap. I will play an island. I think we're just gonna put Tefiri back out. He will cost five mana this time. And I will plus Tefiri. I can cast sorceries as though they had flash until my next turn. I'm just gonna leave my blockers up. Go ahead. On top, upkeep, draw. Pay three. We'll go ahead and play this Eternal Witness. Damn my worldly tutor back. We'll go ahead. Draw. Land turn is a basic island. Not the hero we wanted, but I'm the hero we got. Uh, <laughs> Hero's Downfall. Dude, the f***ing hero got um, them Teferi needs. Azusa? On Teferi. Oh, okay. Go to my turn. Uh, untap and draw. I will draw this nature's claim and reveal Basic Forest. Land 1 for turn is Basic Forest. Land 2 for turn is Tapped Arid Mesa. Red Blast. 2 mana, 3 visits. Sit your library for a forest card and put it on the battlefield and shuffle. I'm just gonna go ahead and roll the tutor while you're doing that. Alright. Sheltered Thicket. We're just gonna grab an Elvish Mystic. I can't cast anything else in my deck currently. Just need mana. But let's see what we're getting next. Land three for turn is Snookford Mountain. Canker Bloom. Yeah, that's it. Pass the turn. On your instep, I'm gonna cast Mystical Tutor. I'm gonna grab Seagate Restoration. Go to my turn. Draw it. I'll play an Academy of Runes, and I will tap out for Seagate Restoration to draw three cards. I'm gonna punch Matt for two. All right. I'll pass. Uh, on your end step, because I also want to see Eddie also kind of play this game a little bit. <laughs> That'd be pretty nasty. Bounce the Dranith Magistrate. Ooh. Again, the hero we, we need. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I will draw. I will pay four. Grook Wildspeaker. 
I will plus one Grook Wild Speaker. I'm going to untap two lands and I will tap my Forge of Heroes. Yeah. To add another counter to my Grook Wild Speaker. Uh, okay. We're going to put two into you, three into you. All right. I'll trade with Azusa. Okay. You've got Overrun plus Overrun, so that seems pretty good. And I will go ahead and pass. Hold your offer turn. Uh oh. No, he's got it. This is red. No, I just mean, uh oh, here comes oh. Uncle Bolas. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's cool. not great for us. I'll draw a card and you each exile a card from your hand or permanent you control. Exile Arid Mesa because I don't actually have anything left to target. Fetch. I'm gonna exile planes. I think, uh, unfortunately, this Elvish Mystic that I tutored up is gonna leave my hand. I'll pass the turn. At your end step, I'm going to activate Thespian Stage, targeting Forge of Heroes. I now have a Forge of Heroes. I will untap and draw Canker Bloom goes to my hand, and I will reveal Conduit of Worlds. Go to combat. I'm gonna swing at Garuk. Because he's two. scary. Yeah. Okay, he'll take two. Second main, I will cast the Kinker Bloom in my hand. Kinker Bloom is a 3 2. I can pay one and sacrifice it to either destroy an artifact, destroy an enchantment, or proliferate. That's it. Pass turn. I'm going to untap, draw one card. Let's play an island this time. Uh, combat? I'll hit him down to three then. Cast. Go ahead. Top of keep. Draw. Holy hell. It's a forest. We're going to get another bug. Yeah, so many bugs. Uh, I have so many bugs. All of the three bugs. We're gonna cast a Bane of Progress for six. Gross. So we'll do four plus one counters. You got a one three over there? Yeah. Damn it. Uh, we'll untap Forge Heroes and Forest. We will pass the turn. Draw. Skull and Tarn enter tapped. I'm gonna uptick, choosing to untap two lands. Floating blue. I'm gonna untap these two. We'll fetch. Getting an island. One, two, three, four, five, six. And another blue. Treasure cruise. <laughs> Draw three. Uh, for those that couldn't see off camera, I exiled six cards from my graveyard. And since I can only cast one spell for turn, I will pass the turn. Untap. Draw my conduit of worlds. Reveal. Life from alone. Well, that is a good card. It doesn't do very much right now, though. Lacking better options, I am going to play my Conduit of Worlds. I can play lands from my graveyard and I can tap it and choose an online permanent card in my graveyard. If I haven't cast a spell this turn, I can cast it. If I do, I can't cast more spells this turn. Activate it only as a sorcery. I'm gonna get Fabled Passage. That's it. Pass turn. I'm gonna pay two. I'm gonna tap Academy Ruins to put Esper Sentinel on top of my library. And it will untap. Holy Toledo, Batman. Totally gonna pay the one with my only one spell per turn anyway, so you just wait until I buff this guy up somehow. Somehow. That would be pretty strong. Still pay the three. Let's go ahead and play an island. We will smack Garuk for two damage. Yeah, you got him. And yeah, my one spell will be an S for Sentinel. My turn? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Untap. Draw. Wow, that's a card. Play this forest. Getting, oh my god, I get a Scoot Swarm. Uh oh. All right, Brent. The board wipe you've been holding on to. It's finally time. Wow. A scoot. That guy's like f 3D. <laughs> I tried. <That's> good. <laughs> tried a little bit more with him. We have a lot of power on our creatures, so we're gonna go ahead and cast a Galta Primal Hunger for two green. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and untap those two <laughs> lands that I just used. Three insects, Jason, and a Bane of Progress at you. I'll block one insect, I'll take eight. I will pass the turn. Die, Galta. <laughs> Uh, but can only cast one spell ah, turn. Yeah. It's on my end step. Rest in peace, my beautiful dinosaur. Okay. I paid the one. Untap. Draw for turn. Land for turn will be a basic swamp. Floating two blue. Untap two lands. Paying the one. Ugin. Oof. Gross. Minus six. Exile. I will respond oh. by sacrificing Kinker Bloom to destroy Conduit of Worlds. <laughs> so it's not exile? Yeah. yeah. My whole board. My beautiful beloveds. Okay. Now you can't see what's on top of my deck. Correct. And I will pass the turn. At the beginning of my upkeep, I'm going to sacrifice Fable Passage. I'll fail to find, but I don't have to draw life from the loam. Draw for turn. That is much better than loam. Four. Ren and or possibly six. He's going to get a counter. But then, yeah, I'm going to minus it and yeah. wipe we begin off the earth. He did good. I liked what he did. I just don't want him anymore. Guess it's... Gamble a clock. I will cast Gamble. Search my library for a card, put it into my hand, then discard a card at random. I assume it's Dark Depths because it doesn't even matter if you discard it. That's pretty good. 
That's why I put that together, yeah. I did activate Thespian Stage though, so that's like maybe a little questionable on my part. These are on for you. Sure, do it. This is one, this is five. One, five. We're on six. Two. The death of nature's claim. Uh, land for turn is, surprise, surprise, Dark Depths. Uh, it enters with 10 ice counters. Uh, I can pay three to remove a counter, and when it has no counters, I sacrifice it and make one swole monstrosity. And I will pass the turn. All on tap, draw. You know what, I'm gonna play another land. All right. Pretty sure my, my last five draws have been land. Sounds like a you problem. It's not a problem, I can cast a fury. <laughs> Six, seven. It's a fury. Time Rabbler. Welcome back. Comes in with four. <laughs> I'll plus him. Uh, I can cast sorceries at instant speed. Wow. Deafening silence. Go ahead. Gross. Six mana. Garuk. Untapping two. <gasps> what are we gonna do? Four heroes. <laughs> Seems good. Yep. I will pass the turn. I will untap into this stacks ass bullshit. And I will draw a card. I will play my land for turn. It's a basic mountain. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ugin. Sorry, it may not be Ugin. <laughs> His dark, brain is dark Ugin. So. For Nicol certain definitions of Ugin. Nicopolis. No, I think I'll actually untap two lands. Flux Channeler. Pass the turn. Draw. Plus. And return basic mountain from my graveyard to my hand and then play it as land for turn. Yeah, I think we're good. Pass turn. I'll untap and draw a card. Play a planes. I suppose we'll plus to theory. Let's play a Mr. Grimera. Maybe I'll draw a card or two. There's the spirit. I'll Just pass. Have faith. Sure, why not? Untap two lands. Sandworm Convergence. Are you paying the four? I cannot. The creatures of flying cannot attack me or planeswalkers I control. At the beginning of my end step, create a 5-5 five, five green worm creature token. Merrily each does have flying. I am protected. Uh, and I will end my turn making my little worm. How big is he? Five five. Oh, you said he was a little. <laughs> oh, he is. He's a, he's, he's a little dude. He's small, but he's dense. <laughs> I'm gonna untap, and I will draw for turn. My land for turn will be City of Brass. Four. Let's tap all basics. Inquirious Dominus. Flying. If you would proliferate, proliferate twice instead. He's also an indestructible flying blocker, so I have something for Mary Liege if I do the thing. Have fun dying. I will cast. My signature spell, not paying the one. The four? The four, whatever. Does this resolve? Uh, what does the spell do? Look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them in your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library in, in any order, proliferate. So, I'm so I can proliferate four times. I'm proliferate four times. That is a lot of proliferations. I do not have a response. Okay. Um, First flux channel or proliferate. Uh, so I'm gonna proliferate twice. I'm gonna proliferate your dark depths twice. <laughs> You got that, fam. <laughs> Just because I can. And then this will resolve. Oh, well, first I look at the top three. And then I will put for eight. I'll eat Fury. Kind of stifle? No, I'm just going to cast this at instant speed. So I cast that once. I'm going to grab an artifact. I'm just going to grab Knowledge Pool. And he will die. How fast did he? End step, I will red blast your flyer. Are you paying four for that? Yes. Pay three <laughs> and give him indestructible. I forgot he could do that. Wait, what happened? Pay one. Blue Phyrexian, Blue Phyrexian. Remove three counters from any among artifacts, creatures, and planeswalkers you control. Put an indestructible counter on this creature. Gross. Uh, still, end step. I'm going to activate Thespian Stage targeting Dark Depths. Upon doing so, a legend rule will kill the original Dark Depths, and then Thespian Stage will be a Dark Depths with no counters on it, thus sacrificing itself to make a 2020 flying indestructible Merit Lage. Uh, gonna go to my turn. Draw. I'm going to plus run in six, returning Thespian Stage to my hand, and I will play it for turn. I'm going to cast Gamble, paying the four. Two, again. again. Green Sun Zenith. Well, that's what I gambled for, so <laughs> that's what I got. Last turn. You're in step. I'm going to cast Avon Mind Sensor, and then I'll go to my turn. Play an island. So your flyer is. Does he have trample? No, he's 3 5. If I you Teferi bounce it, I will not ping your Teferi this turn. I will cast Teferi. Very expensive Teferi. Yeah, he's getting up there. We'll bounce your flyer. Okay. I'll go to combat, I'll hit Nickel Bullets for two. I will play a Hushbringer. What's that? Uh, flying lifelink creatures entering the battlefield or dying don't cause abilities to trigger. And I'll pass. This is not a fun time for me. I will go ahead and make a 3-3 beast. Oh, did you pay for Rimura? Oh. Nope, it's gone. Yeah, I forgot to pay for Rimura, so it's gone, unfortunately. 
And we'll hit Nickel Bolas for five, or swing on it for five, even you have a flex channeler. Try will block. Okay. And then going to main two, since I can't do it at instant speed, get rid of run in six. I got a three three. You know, I'm just giving everybody beasts right now. I got a beast, you got a beast. It's like Oprah in here. It's more like a rattlesnake. Uh, and then I will pass my turn. I will untap. I will draw. Land for turn. Four mana. Bring him back. Three, four. Cast my signature spell again. Proliferating twice. That one in hand. These on the bottom. Uptick. Draw a card. And each opponent will exile a card from their hand or permanently control. I'll exile the Spire Garden from my hand. I'll exile an island. Forest. Putting an indestructible counter on him. Pass the turn. I'll draw for turn. Uh, land for turn is command tower. I'm going to pay six mana to recast Ren and or six. Heck, we're on Ren and eight now. Yeah, something like that. I'm going to plus Ren and six. And I am going to return Dark Depths to my hand. Pass turn. Okay. That's something. It's not a land. I like that. So I'm going to plus Tefiri, because that's all I can do with him. And then I will pay four mana for a second Tefiri. The Master of Time. I can activate him on everyone else's turn at instant speed. And I'm going to plus one him to draw a card and discard a card. I'm just going to discard Knowledge Pool, because I could get it back with Academy of Runs when I need it. And I don't want these two cards. I'll pass. Minus four Garouk. Creature control, get plus three, plus three, and gain Trample until end of turn. Attempt to cast Triumph for the Hordes. Um, in response, it will activate to Fear. I'm going to discard an island. Proceed. Everything at Matt. And I think that kills. Guess I should have killed you. All right, I will block one of the worms with my merit lage, and I'll block the, your beast with my beast and still die. And then I will end my turn. My worm will come back. I'm going to attempt the fetch through uh, an Aven Mind Sensor. Good luck. Let's hope we get it. Failed to find, but it was three other lands on top of it. Did not do what I want, so that is cool. okay. Land for turn is command Fair. power. We will play my own. Fury Master time. Uptick to draw a card and discard a card. We will discard this Polossa Citadel that I've been sitting in hand for a while. Tapping these two. Untapping them. Spark double. I'm going to activate Tefiri in response. I'm going to discard a planes. Go ahead. I will have another Nicol Bolas. We'll eat your Tefiri Master of time. He's dead. Pass the turn. You're in step. Swords, your flyer. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put Knowledge Pool on top of my deck with... Academy Ruins. Go to my turn, untap. I will draw this Knowledge Pool. We're just going to plus Tefiri. I will cast Knowledge Pool. You can only cast spells at sorcery speed. Knowledge Pool makes it so that when you cast a spell, you exile it into the Knowledge Pool instead. And then you pick a card that's also in there to cast. But you cannot cast it because that is not sorcery speed, because it's something that's on the stack. Also, when it enters, everyone exiles the top three cards of their deck under the Knowledge Pool. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just put them over on Matt's play mat. Land yes. land. Yeah, I got, I'm not using <laughs> it. I got a negate path to exile and idle on of rhetoric. I will pass. I guess I will draw a card, discard card, discard swamp. Yeah, I guess we just kind of have to force you, Jason, because you're kind of stopping me from doing other things. So yeah, I guess everything at Tefiri. I will not block. Yeah, it's one big dead boy. Going to main two, collector oof. He'll go to uh, the knowledge yeah. ball. He sure will. And I get you to like? choose a spell. Yeah, I think we'll take the gauntlet just to stop it from... It also gives Garouk the ability to proliferate. I will end my turn. Does Knowledge Pool work with Deafening Silence then? So if I cast a non-creature, does that cast again? Does Knowledge Pool cast it? Sure it does. So Deafening Silence will prevent you from doing things with it. Okay. I will uptake to draw a card discard. Yeah, sure. We'll discard Narset. Draw for turn. Draw a card. You will each exile a card from your hand or permanent. I'll exile a planes. So. Yeah, we'll just get rid of the Ekermoon Gauntlet. Okay. I don't really need it. Let's do it again. We'll do an island this time. I guess we're just going to lose this heroic intervention. And I will draw a discard. My land for turn will be a Sulphur's Falls. So I could get the Eidolon or the Collector of. Cast this Arcane Signet to get this Eidolon because it's bigger. And it makes it so that no one can cast anything now. Yeah. All done? Yep. Go to my turn. Untap. Draw. I'll stay back. Uh, Unstep. I'll draw a discard. That is a card that I cannot cast. Your hand will not help you here. Casting Triumph again. My creatures get plus one, plus one, Trample, and Infect, and everything at you, Brent. Six. Cast my 
to look at the top three. Yeah, look at all them lands. Channel lands? No. Oh. You do get to proliferate though. Yeah, I do get to proliferate everything. <laughs> Yay. Phase one of the worms out and I'll block one of the worms. Okay, and that'll be still. Yeah, that'll be. Yep. Go to end stop. Worm boy. All right, draw. We will cast a Lauren of the Third Path. Wow, three mana path, let's go. We will path your untapped worm. Oh uh, no, my wormy boy. All right, here we go. I will get my one worm back from the ether. Four for base, three of the four attacks, untap two, last of the attacks, cast triumph, everything at you. I'll take it. Okay. I have a lot of poison there. <laughs> Wow, that was a pretty long game. Before it was cut down, this was about two hours of gameplay. I thought Oathbreaker was gonna take less time than Commander. That doesn't mean that isn't the case in most games. The big problem here was probably me playing a stacks deck that didn't really have a succinct win condition. But in the end, Eddie pulls it out with big dumb green creatures and all is right with the world. Thanks for watching everyone. See you next time.